Good morning, sir. Would you like to have an exhortation to grow closer to God's Word? Thank you very much. What did you choose this place? Well, well I, I, like to go, I like going outside any number of, uh, any number of church buildings, even uh, like regular, um, even, even like evangelical churches to exhort them to hold fast to God's Word and to remember the commands that God has for us. And Can I ask you, what does God's love mean? Well, as 1 Corinthians 13 says, that love does not rejoice in iniquity, but it rejoices with the truth. And the Bible says, sanctify them by that truth. Thy word is truth. And so, the so, word is what? Uh, God, uh, God's word is the standard by which we must strive to live by. Because it's... It, 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 it holds authority. Yep, exactly. And that's uh, that's another essential message that I'm preaching here today, of like, uh, like, like, do you love your littlest neighbors? Uh, and so um, the Bible sa the Bible indicates in numerous places that life begins at the moment of conception. Where does and, it do that? Uh, like Matthew one twenty three. Um, I can uh, in Ruth it says she conceived and bared a son. In the book of Ruth, uh, she conceived and bared a son. I can get out my journal and look up a place where there are uh, several Bible verses that say that. And so, um, but where does it say that? Well, well, basically, um, well, Jesus, Jesus says that we'd be known for how they, how they loved, and uh, he says, whatever we've done for one of the least of these, uh, my brethren, we've done it unto him. And so. Uh, and so, just question: Do you uh, do you profess to support or be against abortion in particular? Well, I think it's, all, it's pretty mysterious. All of this. Mysterious. So really, us to. I mean, if we think we know what God wants, I think that can be pretty challenging. Well, well. Um, well, Jesus <laughs> gives us the two great commandments: love the Lord your God with all of your heart, soul, mind, and strength. And love your neighbors as yourself, yeah. and and basically, um, if we if we study the scriptures, we can see what God wants. And He says, "God abhors the bloody and deceitful man." In Psalms, uh, yeah, yeah. Well, well, if we read if we, if we read the Bible, yeah. And if you look at say an abortionist, well, let's see, they're murdering preborn children. And so how are we not being well, bloody miserable to God too? Because we do all sorts of stuff as well. Yeah, yeah. Um, well, well, of course. I'm a, I'm, I'm a redeemed sinner by the blood of Christ. And Jesus Christ has redeemed me from my past transgressions so hasn't the to walk in newness of life. The abortionist? Uh, he, he, he has so no regard. He has no regard for God's word or... Repenting is the because they are still murdering children, and when you, and the, that's why the Bible says in Hebrews three thirteen, let us exhort one another daily, lest we fall into the deceitfulness of sin. Uh, and or or like it says in in Romans eight, we put to death sin by the power of the Spirit of God, or or mortify, as the King James says. How about, like, how about Romans? If you use Romans, I think a lot about what what's comforting is. Neither death nor life nor principalities nor. Oh yeah, like Romans eight thirty seven. Separate us from the love of God. Nothing separates us. Correct, but it, so like if you do or what I do, that or what does, that that whole chapter is about having the spirit of since since we have the spirit of God inside of us, then nothing else can separate us How from the love of God. When the spirit is inside of you. When you have. When when you obey. Your, your conscience, which tells you that you've done something wrong. Because God has created us with a conscience, right? That's why God has created us with a conscience. And so, it's why, uh, like, like for example, Jesus says on the Sermon on the Mount, if any man look upon a woman with lust, he's already committed adultery with her in his heart. And so, so if I were to ever, uh, if, if I were to ever give my mind over to that sin, my conscience would be telling me, my name is Jeff. Hey, Jeff, you, you, you sinned. You just sinned. I said, oh, yeah, oh, I did. Yeah, you're right. I got to repent. I got to repent. And so, of course, uh, 
Like, it, it, of course, none of us are good, good people, as the Bible says, all of sin have fallen short of the glory of God. However, we can turn away from our sin. How do we know if we have the Spirit of God inside of us? Well, well, when we sense a difference uh, between our lives and really the world as a whole, whereas.